Hey y'all, it's been a while, uh, quite a while actually. Uh, yes, I'm in pajamas. Yes, I'm laying in bed. Yes, it's late in the evening and I'm filming this real quickly before watching some more anime with the family. It's been a while, a uh, couple years. I've been a bit busy. That's one of the things I've been busy with. New baby. Lots of fun. You might hear her here and there. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. I think my first video back, I'm going to just do this build for The Sims 4. Once a week, I hope to put out a video. Usually it'll be Sims or another game related video. Just me having fun. I hope you guys enjoy this. So I went ahead and built just a very small one bedroom, one bathroom home. I did wind up like putting this like full on backyard with kids furniture. I figured the house could always be expanded upon and upstairs could be added. I also didn't really know if I wanted to go modern or contemporary or like classic. So I kind of mixed motifs a lot, which made me, me happy. Um, I haven't had a chance very much to game. So this was a lot of fun for me to just sit down and have fun with it. The hard part was not using any of my PC. So this is actually on the gallery, this whole house is on the gallery not modded i've got a lot of great mod stuff so if you want me to do a full mod house let me know i get all my mods from the sims resource so um i noticed <coughs> oh i'm sorry they use like six different shades of orange uh for their furniture why can't they use all the same things that's really annoying and trying to uh match all that. I've noticed different shades of some colors just really clash hard. Um, but I tried to pull color throughout, which was less than easy. I hope you see me okay. Uh, this is a new webcam. 1080p. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm awkward at this again because I don't really know it's gonna take time for me to get back into this I think and feel confident which is something I've just not been feeling lately I've been going through you know everybody goes through stuff right you know and there's no I'm no exception on that part I just I know that it's really important for us to just you know push forward keep moving rock and roll whatever I used a lot of little tchotchke things but I did some tricks so that the counters are all still usable I promise it doesn't stay like that um, oh one of my favorite things to do is I wish I could do this here in our house is put uh, string lights underneath the counters drooping down but I'm afraid that in real in reality that would like catch on fire or something which just sounds like a really bad idea to have these string lights hanging so close to the, anywhere near the stove and suddenly it's on fire. That sounds charming. Charming. We'll definitely have fun time. I... The bathroom's small, but I liked it that size because that's like my ideal size, a two by three. Because the bathtub fits without it being awkward. And so does the toilet and the sink without it being too crunched. But, meanwhile, you can still add things like on the walls. You can still add a rug. You can still add things, that kind of stuff. I think this is actually like a 2 by 4 bathroom. So it's got a little bit more space than I normally would a lot for my sims but I used a lot of new stuff that 
optical illusion piece on the wall is one of my favorites. I want one in real life. Like, I do. I don't know how to <laughs> get one, but I want one. Uh, because I just love that how, as you move, it changes perspective. So, it's not because it's, I think it's because it's out a little bit. It's just really neat. I love optical illusions. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I played around, I know that that whole new maximizing thing is really in right now. So I played around with the different textures. I did like bowl, I did the plain walls, but then at each end I did a different wallpaper that matched. And I feel like it's so ugly it works. If that makes sense at all. Uh, uh, I su I'm surprised. I finally went ahead. Batu was on super sale. Like, I'm not a Star Wars fan myself. Please don't cancel me for that. It's just a personal preference. Never really been my thing. Uh, but as it, you know, I finally went ahead. It was so far on sale that I bought the pack. I paid like twelve dollars for it, and the. Uh, brickwork and and some of the building items are so cool i don't have to like the pack to like this like the you know building products at that pause when i was building this i was taking care of her by the way this is uh where i started adding some of the things that your sims need for an average life and i couldn't figure out what to put in this big space right here so i thought oh i could you know set up a game board thing but it looked too much like the regular dining table. So I added a foosball table instead because, you know, why not? And that rug is from a uh, parenting set kit. I don't remember if that's the name of it. I think that is. And it fits with that wallpaper so nicely. But I hate the fact that that wallpaper has this like wa a dark border at the top. There's specific shades where the top border isn't white. And that, that irks me because all the rest of them are white and it makes blending and mixing with other things really difficult because especially if you like if you feel like me if you think like I do uh, <clears throat> I waited to roof it till the end because I didn't know if I wanted to add a second level or not I considered it I did but I wound up not figuring that if I decided to use this for my sims I can always add a second level I made the trim black because I wanted to clash it on purpose with white pillarage all around. And I thought that looked really cool. You know, I had a couple trees. And then it dawned on me after doing a quick perusal throughout. I feel a sneeze. I did the curtains, of course, you know. Um, those are the Island Living's curtains. I love them. They're gaudy as heck, but I love them. Uh, it dawned on me after a little while that I hadn't done anything for a backyard. Like, I did very minimal. I really don't do very much for landscaping myself. I really, I, if you also want to see me challenge myself by like making a park where it's pretty much all landscape, I'll do it. But see here, I did a quick walkthrough, thinking that would be it. Then realized, oh, there's nothing in the backyard. Nothing. So I fenced it in, because one of my biggest pet peeves is somebody coming over to my Sims house and using my, my grill and leaving the food to rot outside. So I, you know, made this little cute little planter area. You see me swirling around because what I'm doing is I'm making sure the plants aren't clipping inside because that's another pet peeve of mine is when my thing clips inside my plants. I just, that's my favorite uh, grill. And some planters, decided to add a swing set and a monkey bars, even though there's no room for a kid in this. I don't know what I was thinking there. I. But you know what? It's ready. Maybe she, maybe this person babysits. Yeah, maybe they're a babysitter and or they're a daycare or something. And there you go. 
that is another uh that i believe that that is the batu table but yeah i added i love it it's called the one bedroom up and coming so there you go it's on the gallery i hope you liked that as much as i did in terms of building it uh, uh my handle for the gallery is danger danny d-n-g-r underscore d-a-n-n-i uh you can find this in my catalog there and any future builds that i make uh like i said if you'd like for me to try anything else go ahead and drop a comment down below uh like and subscribe <laughs>